So I'm out in the field this evening and I've got the Keen Ranger PT with me. Um, I'm over at a, a local spot uh, which we've uh, been very lucky to have been given access to. Um, back in October of 2021, uh, we put up a barn owl box and a tawny owl box uh, in this beautiful little patch of, uh, of field here. Um, the surrounding areas um, is open farmland uh, and this particular field here used to have horses grazing um, but has since been left uh, completely unattended and has been left to, to grow which is the, the perfect habitat for, for owls. Now we've got a number of, uh, of wildlife uh, species here uh, just on this particular patch alone. Now the grass is quite tall so you, you can't see a lot uh, throughout this but every now and then we do get a glimpse on uh, the other Rio Link camera that we've got up on top of the box. Um, you often get deers passing, uh, red foxes passing and so forth. So, uh, so yeah we're out here this evening we're going to install the, the Keen Ranger PT on the tree uh, underneath the barn owl box. Now the barn owl box isn't vacant at the moment. We've had the odd uh, barn owls and tawny owls in over the past couple of months but nothing has stayed uh, as of yet anyway. So yeah we're going to go fit it up on the tree, we're going to get the solar panel out as well and fit that to the tree as well. Now we've got a very small clearing underneath this tree where if we install the solar panel it should just be enough throughout the high point of the day uh, that we should, uh, we should be able to charge up these batteries if needed. Now there is a lot of cover on this, uh, on this tree so if we were to fit the panel up in amongst the uh, top of the tree then I think we are going to struggle uh, in terms of the light rays uh, and charging the, uh, the battery. Now this is fully charged uh, so the idea being is I'm going to stick it out fully charged and uh, leave it out for a couple of weeks and we'll see what happens. Also whilst I'm here I'm going to install a fence post literally just where I'm stood here um, so it will be just in view of the camera um, and that way if any owls, passing owls, fly by, see the post uh, and hopefully they'll land. Now we've had a camera on this tree before, one of our other Rio Link goes and uh, we were very lucky to see barn owls and tawny owls perch on that post. So. The ground is a little bit hard today, so it's going to be a little bit of a challenge this evening to put a post in, but we'll go and do the camera first, we'll get this all set up, and then uh, we'll get the post in, and then I'll show you the, uh, the final results of the camera being installed on this tree underneath our barn owl box. So firstly I'm going to start with this part here, the mounting bracket. So this sits above the camera and then has a small attachment and then the camera locks in. Now I'm going to find a nice flat surface along this, uh, this tree trunk here. Now this tree is quite thick uh, so I am going to have to use some screws. Uh, I have got a couple of brackets which, um, which I could wrap around the tree to attach this to but because it's quite low to the ground um, and, and if someone was to walk past um, it, it could quite easily be, uh, be knocked off or, or pulled off so I'm going to use a couple of uh, 40, uh, 40 millimetre uh, screws and I'm going to just attach this to the, uh, to the tree bark here. Now the, the bark is quite thick uh, so it's not going to go too far into this tree trunk uh, so we won't do any permanent damage to this tree here so I'm going to go ahead and uh, get this bracket fitted and then we will install the camera. So that's the bracket installed. As you can see, I've just got two screws there, one either side, and that's uh, attached.
firmly in place there on the, uh, on the trunk of the tree. So first off, I'm going to install the antenna to the back of the camera. Now it's quite simple. There's just a screw thread attachment here and that just attaches onto the back like so. Now you don't want to over tighten that thread, but when you do twist the antenna around, do twist it around clockwise and not anti-clockwise because there's a little bit of friction there and if you do, it will loosen itself off. Now, before you put the antenna upright, what I'm gonna do first in order to attach this onto the bracket here is keep it down so then when I attach this part here and then lock it into place, the antenna doesn't get in the way. So we're gonna attach this, which is a simple quarter inch thread attachment. And again, you don't wanna over tighten this, but just nip it enough so it's tight enough. And then once you've done that, you then wanna locate it in the position in which you want to put it. Now, it's a little bit tricky, but once you've lo located it, like so, there we have it. Nice and stable. The antenna just sits up alongside the, uh, alongside the tree trunk there. So now we'll go ahead and install the solar panel. So now I'm gonna go ahead and install the solar panel. Now because the position in which the uh, tree is facing and the tree canopy that I've got here I am gonna to have to position my solar panel below the camera. Now, the field of view in which the camera sees, I want directly out. I don't necessarily need to have to point down so much. So I'm going to install my solar panel somewhere around about here, underneath the camera, just, uh, just in between the, uh, the opening here of the tree canopy. And again, it's very simple, just like the mounting bracket that we have on the back of the camera. We've got three screws here, and I'm just gonna use the same screws to attach this to the tree trunk. Right, so now I've done that. I've only used two screws because I don't think I need a third one on there. It's, it's fairly solid. That's not gonna go anywhere. So now I'm gonna install the solar panel. And that's very simple. It's got a standard quarter inch thread on the back and a quarter inch thread on the attachment here. Now all you're gonna do is line those up like so, and then just twist clockwise. I tend to have to just throw the cable over because I leave that loose and we'll plug that in in just a second like so. So once that's locked off in place you've got a little lever attachment on the back here just for minor adjustments so I'm just going to rotate my panel round slightly to a point where I'm happy with it a little bit fiddly sometimes it's on a ball joint so you just want to make sure you get it in the right position that you're happy with and once you're in that position so I'm quite happy with that you just lock it off like so and then take your cable attachment plug it into the back of the camera. Now, this is a little bit fiddly on the back of this tree here because I am quite close to the tree trunk, but I'm sure in just a few seconds, there we go, just like that. And then we attach the rubber grommet over the uh, connection seal there. Because the last thing we want is moisture. And in between that connection. 
And there we have it. So the solar panel is installed. Now what I tend to do with these cables is I quite often bring a cable tie out with me. So what I'll do is I'll get a cable tie and I'll attach that to the back of the bracket here so it's nice and tidy. And that's it. That's the uh, Keen Ranger PT installed on this tree. All I've got to do now is power it up and we'll, uh, we're good to go. So there we have it, the Keen Ranger PT by RioLink, a very easy to install pan and tilt camera. So all that remains for me to do right now is to power the camera on. We give it a few seconds for it to connect and once it's connected I'll wave my hands in front of the camera to check that we're receiving our notifications. So here we go. So we'll give that a few seconds to boot up, once that's booted up we should hopefully see notifications come through that there has been motion detected from our wildlife PT camera. So I'm going to wave my hands across indicating that something has walked past and uh, fingers crossed we should see there we go. We've got a notification on my mobile device saying that motion is detected from wildlife PT cam. So there we go, very easy, very simple to install the PT Keen Ranger by Rio Link.